Beep boop bop, it's Becca, and welcome back to Baking with Becca. So today, we're gonna learn how to make this delicious vegan chocolate ice cream. It is so good, super refreshing, in the nice sunny weather, and it's actually pretty simple to make. So if you wanna learn how, keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. So here are our ingredients for the first part of our recipe. This is gonna be the fudgy part of our ice cream. So let's start over here, we have one can of full fat coconut milk, 13 and a half ounces, a quarter cup of dark cocoa powder, a quarter cup of regular cocoa powder, a third cup of maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So we're going to mix up all of our ingredients in a blender because we don't want any lumps in this. It's gonna get nice and thick and smooth if we use a blender for it. So we're just gonna add all of our ingredients into there. to use half dark cocoa powder and half regular cocoa powder just to change up the flavors and the dark will give it such a rich chocolate flavor but you don't want it to be too strong so it's nice to also add in there the regular and the maple syrup will also give it a nice natural sugar sugary taste so as you know cocoa is very bitter so you need that sweetener in there but it's nice to have the natural and vanilla will help to bring out the flavor and then of course whenever you're doing a recipe with a lot of cocoa you want to add salt because that helps to bring out the chocolate flavor and with your blender make sure to start it off a little bit slow but then ramp it up pretty high so after it's gone in the blender a little bit. You want to scrape down the sides to make sure that it is all mixed together. I'm almost too short to use this blender. <laughs> I'm on my toes right now. So this will make sure that you don't have any chunks. It already smells really good. And don't worry about um, it tasting like coconut since it is a lot of coconut milk. The chocolate will definitely cover up that flavor. I don't like coconut but this is good. And now let it go at a higher speed for a while. So this mixture is now completely ready and I'm gonna pour this into a container and then this container is going to go on into the freezer. So the mixture that we just made is perfect for fudgesicles. So if you wanna stop here, you can just pour this into popsicle molds and leave it in the freezer for at least four hours and then pop them out and it's a perfect fudgesicle, but we're gonna take it another step forward to turn it into ice cream, but for now, we want to just pour it into our container and then put it into the freezer. This looks so good. So silky smooth. The smell is incredible. Super strong chocolate. So this is going to go into the freezer um, and then we're going to make the next step. So next we're going to make a non-dairy whipped cream that will then be mixed in with the chocolate mixture that we just made to make our ice cream. So for this we have one carton of non-dairy topping, one tablespoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. So for this we can just add everything into the bowl that we'll use our electric mixer in. and mix that up. Okay, our whipped cream is ready. You can tell because it is very thick now. Now this is also going to go into the freezer. This, we just want it to get very cold. We don't want it to actually get frozen, so you want to keep a close eye on it. And then with the chocolate part, you want to keep it in there until it gets icy, but not completely like rock hard, solid, frozen ice. Okay, so our chocolate mixture and our whipped cream have sat in the freezer for about almost two hours. Um, I would like for the chocolate mixture to be a little bit, um, colder, a little bit icier, but we got a little impatient. But now it's formed into like this creamy mixture. So I'm gonna put some of this into the bowl. 
some of it is getting icy. But if it's not as cold as we want, when we're done with this, we can just put it back in the freezer easily. Put some of the chocolate in there. Then our whipped cream is very cold. Add it into here. And start to mix it up. So you can see this is a nice silky texture. So if I wanted it more chocolatey, I can add more of the chocolate to it. So you can kind of make it however strong you prefer. This is kind of like a soft serve consistency, but if you want it even icier, you can just put it back in the freezer with however much chocolate to whipped cream ratio you like. So I finished mixing together all of our chocolate and whipped cream and now it has formed this perfect consistency and it's gonna go back in the freezer. And here is our final product. We put it into a cone. It looks so good. It was in the, the freezer for another like three hours and it's the perfect consistency now. It looks like a perfect ice cream cone. And overall, this was actually really simple to make. It's not always the easiest to make vegan ice cream if you need a churn or too many steps, but this was really simple. So I hope you try it out. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this recipe or if you try it out and how it goes. And I'll see you next time. Bye.